Good evening, people. Watch him in 65. Lisa Boyce, I just got in not too long ago. Had a... The air show was phenomenal. Um, it was phenomenal. Very hot outside. Very, a lot of people. But let me give you the Gospels. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. You put your faith and trust in him. When you accept him as Savior... Not only are you saved, you're rapture ready, justified by the blood of Jesus and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend and the Holy Spirit will change you. That's the gospel. I am really tired today, but the air show was phenomenal. I was going to send... Um, a photo of the Blue Angels flying. I mean, the F-18, there were two female pilots, and they were phenomenal. They were phenomenal. F-18 flew. Um, I needed earplugs, and of course, I didn't wear any, and my ear just now popped because the sound is so loud that you could feel it in your chest that's how loud it was it was a phenomenal show um <clears throat> of course had their recruiters there and everything and everybody was wearing their top gun gear and of course i'm sure everybody went home and watched top gun again especially after the blue angels flew but it was it was a lot of fun um like i said i'm tired it was hot it was so it must have been at least I say about 15,000 people, 20,000 people at least at today's show. Because when they first open up, they started on a Saturday, every Labor Day weekend. They started on a Saturday. It goes from Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And it this is, the first day is the biggest. But it was phenomenal. It was a great show. Um, they had all kinds of planes there. You could go inside and. Like I said, I'll try to send this uh, as a video of the Blue Angels flying in formation. So I'll try, I'll try to send it uh, today. While I was gone, this article, I, I think this came out last night off of RT. White House approves weapon sales to Taiwan. Now we knew, I had hit on something uh, similar to this um, the other day. But this is off of RT. It says, White House approves weapon sales to uh, Taiwan. Radars, anti-air, anti-ship missiles are part of a $1.1 billion. Now, they just sent money and weaponry over to Ukraine. So now they're sending this over to Taiwan. The Biden administration, or the Sleepy administration, sent formal notifications to the U.S. Congress on Friday yesterday of the intent to sell radars, anti-ship, anti-aircraft missiles to Taiwan. The total value of the equipment and maintenance contracts adds up to just $1.1 billion. This is the fifth and the largest so far uh, weapons package for Taiwan approved by the current U.S. government. Its most expensive component is the SRP, which is the Surveillance Radar System valued at 665.4 million followed by 60 harpoon anti-ship missiles worth 355 million and 100 sidewinder anti-craft aircraft missiles worth over 80 5.6 million the contracts also include related equipment parts and maintenance 
The three contracts were green lit by the Defense Security uh, Cooperation Agency to Congress on Friday as part of a formal notification process. Now, I'm looking at this air show while I'm here, and I, I can't help but to think. These guys are doing all of this, and this government could care less about them. And I, I'm just sitting there, I'm watching this, and I'm like, wow. You can't help but to think that. Especially someone like me. I'm watching and I'm looking at all this and I'm, you know, of course it was a show. These guys have been doing this for years. They're trained to do this in the equipment that they're doing it in. But then I read this. And I read how this administration treats the military. And... It's sad. It's, it's really sad. So this goes on to say earlier this week, after some U.S. outlets published a leak detail of the sales, China warned the U.S. against such a move. You remember when Russia warned the U.S. against helping Ukraine? Well, China just did the same thing. Against... Uh, trying to help Taiwan out. A spokesman for the Chinese embassy in Washington said Beijing would respond with decisive and firm measures if the U.S. continues to sell weapons to uh, Taipei. But of course they're going to do it anyway. After 1949, Taiwan fell under the rule of Chinese nationalists who left the mainland following the, their defeat in civil war to communist forces. Beijing considers it part of China, and the U.S. has recognized this as one China policy in a number of official acts. In early August, however, House Speaker Nasty, a prominent Democrat, uh, visited them. Taipei, followed by two more congressional delegations. I had hit on this a little bit the other day. China reacted by staging massive sea and air drills around Taiwan and U.S. Uh, countered by sailing U.S. Navy ships through the Taiwan Strait. Those Sleepy Joe's administration ramped up the U.S. weapon sales to Taiwan. None of the approved shipments have been delivered yet, according to the Post. Usually takes about four to five. It usually takes, they said, hmm, four to five years for weapons to be delivered and deployed. U.S. Business uh, Council President Rupert Hamad Chambers told the outlet, calling it a normal timeline. That's a bunch of BS. If, if they sign this, they're going to give these weapons over to them immediately. They're not going to wait for that. They didn't wait in Ukraine. Why is it going to take four to five years? That don't even make sense. U.S. weapons makers simply lack the ability to ramp up production quickly. <laughs> but they ramped it up for Ukraine. God, excuse me, too. I'm tired. My face is just... I was hot, I was sweaty, I was, and now I'm just tired. But anyway, this goes on to say, the White House Senior Director for Taiwan and China, Laura Rosenberger, told the Post that there has been substantial effort to accelerate the process and that the Dopey administration is acutely aware of the need to expedite delivery. Of course they're going to expedite delivery. Of course. This nation, this administration wants war. They want war. And they don't give a crap about the U.S. military. That's just, the, that's just the bottom line. They don't care. It says both Democrats and Republicans in Congress are working on streamlining the sales process. Um, 
looking at changes to rules requiring an assessment of whether such weapons can end up in the wrong hands and pose a threat to U.S. national security interests. Oh, wow. It, it's just, it, it's a bunch of BS, really. It really is. So I'm going to link this in the description box. Um, I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, with a voice and with my ear ringing. <laughs> um, my ear better. Um, so, but right now I'm just tired. I'm going to link this in the description box and I will be back tomorrow. In the meantime, have a nice evening and thank you all for your support. Uh, thank you for your prayers. Thank you. Good night. Love you all.